الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. So I wanted to read a couple of nice athar of the Salaf, meaning some of the statements of the people who were companions of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. These were the the students. Those people who had met companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, radiyallahu taala anhu majmain, and had taken knowledge from them, and had taken their manners, and had taken a lot of their positive attributes, and passed that down to us by preserving the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And this is the affair of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jamaa. The Ahlul Sunnah they refer back to the Qur'an, which is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they refer back to the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they refer back to the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. May Allah be pleased with all the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because they were the best of this nation. And Ahl sunnah also refers back to the tabi'in wa itba'a tabi'in. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, خَيْرَ النَّاسِ قَرْنِي ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونَهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونَهُمْ The Prophet ﷺ said, the best people uh, of my nation, the best of the people, is those is my generation. Then those who follow them, then those who follow them. So that shows us, that's a, a, a prophetic guidance that we should follow the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. The Sunnah of his his companions, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين, and especially the four, the Arba, the Khilafat, meaning Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين, that they are the best. They are that's the 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 tartib that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم left us upon, that their Khilafat, that their Sunnah, as the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned, عليكم بسنة عليكم بسنتي وسنة خلفاء الراشدين المهديين. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "It is upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalafat." Uh, uh, so let's listen to one of the statements of one of the tabi'in, and this is, shows us the importance of being humble and realizing the weight of this dunya, this life. This life, we should use it as a means to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives us for our sins and blesses us to be of those people who uses our time wisely in beneficial things. So this is a tabi'i named Mutraf. And he said, وَقَالْ لَوْ أَتَانِي آت مِنْ رَبِّي تَعَالَى فَخَيِّرْنِي أَفِي الْجَنَّةِ أَوْ فِي النَّارِ أَوْ أَصِيرُ تَرَابٍ أَخْتَرْتُ أَنْ أُصِيرُ تَرَابٍ So, uh, Mutraf, he said, رَحِمَهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى May Allah be pleased with him. He said that if someone were sent to me from my Lord, and the, the Almighty, and he gave me the choice of whether I would be in paradise or be in the hellfire, or to be uh, to become dust. He said I would have chosen dust. This doesn't mean that being dust is better than the par paradise, but this shows us from the humility of the tabi'in that, and out of the fear of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that dust is not going to be held accountable 